Hey everyone, this is Gerald at MXG Games, and I'm playing Quantum Break. Uh, it's been a few days since I've actually played this game, so, um, you know, well, well, we'll get going back on it and uh, get started. Last time, you know, we made our escape, our brother was killed, our old buddy Paul said he's seen the end of time, so, you know, I don't know why he didn't kill us too, but, you know, hey, whatever, I guess he's seen the future, so. Uh, he's expecting us to be at some place called the island. Um, we, they were executing, you know, people that saw what happened at the university. So uh, we uh, broke one of the guys out, and the guy happened to be the cabbie that brought us to the university in the first place. So now he's he's helping us out by unlocking doors and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and play Quantum Break. This is episode four, and uh, hopefully we can save time. Ah, that was stupid. Alright. What's up, Cabby? He looks... Man, he looks angry. And his eyes... Look, his eyes are kind of bugging out. Okay, so we gotta go through ground zero, it says. What's this here? Jack Joyce. It's all the rumors of conjecture from what I hear... I wasn't at the university op, but there's no way Joyce took out all those guards. He's just some random guy, not a trained assassin. The story's floating around, make it sound like he's shooting laser beams from his goddamn asshole. Ooh, bend over. <laughs> uh, anyways, they got Liam Burke hunting down right now, so I think it's safe to say Jack Joyce is fucked. I don't know, Liam seems to be... Uh, off the record, I heard Paul Serene has been investigating potential traitor within Monarch. Somebody's been accessing all sides of, sorts of confidential information. Remember that research Dr. Romero was doing to find permanent cure for Serene sickness? The rumor is somebody sabotaged the test. Had to start over. Just a few weeks later, the uni go op goes sour. Willing to bet the same person sabotaged us there. Keep your eyes peeled, man. Were you aware of the Prowler unit at uni? Hearing all kinds of rumors, Jack Joyce took out seven squads on his own. They're saying we're getting stories about him freezing operas, disappearing in a thin year. Even heard about him being in two places at the same damn time. I thought it was bullshit, but we were just got word that the transport went missing. After entering ground zero perimeter, how the hell does that happen? Hmm. It happens because I can stop time. Hmm. All right, what we got here? Mr. Serene's chopper is inbound for- Hey, Clarice, is that you? This is HQ Alpha. Charlie, I told you to stay off the operations channel. Sure, Clarice, listen. Hatch told me to search for Joyce. I've got footage of Burke taken out of Garden A1. Back a Monarch truck was left open. Now I'm checking cameras in A3 and guards are either sleeping on the job or, you know... Dead. Not sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Catch my drift? Joyce. <laughs> With a trajectory towards kicking over some expensive-ass sandcastles. Look, I'm gonna keep looking for him. I'm just giving you a heads up, okay? I wanna over kick... An, over an hour. I really wanna kick that dude's ass. The little smug, bearded dude. Anybody out there? Nope. That's a bright damn light, though. Shut that shit off. Still no word on Joyce's ah. location. Yeah, I heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. Ooh. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a. Hostile! Did I scream enough for you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. I 
I just shot him in the dingling. Nick, are you there? <laughs> Talk to me. Where am I going? That warehouse is split into two halves. Find the exit, take the alley to the other side, and let me know when you're there. All right. Yeah, I scream loud enough for you? Scream like a little bitch. Stupid. Make sure, uh... Some stuff out there that can explode. Like cats and dogs at my house right now, so if you hear some thunder, that would be the reason why. Really? What am I supposed to do? I'm very confused right now, I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Alright. Nah. Let's go back out there. Uh, hey, that door's... Ow! Contact. Oh, on crap. Hostile. You wanna talk this out? One dude took me out in two shots. That hasn't happened yet before, so note to self, that dude gonna kick my ass. Alright, let's do that again, because that sucked. Alright, there was that chromium thing up here. Did I get it? Let's see. Oh. I really haven't messed with these chromium sources too much yet. But. I will take it. Because. You're supposed to. Right? I guess I need to pay attention more often. I don't do that very well. I just play games. Okay. Here we go again. We got contact! Oh, Shotgunner advancing on hostile! Mother yeah, that's a motherfucker for sure. You wanna talk this out? Yep. Gotta shoot that dude in the head. Gotta move. That dude. Down, dude.
Oh, 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 where is he? Where did he go? Shotgun. That's probably it looks pretty powerful, but I'm just I don't know. I like the the rifle right now. I'm just gonna stick with it. Oh. Man. Okay. Okay. Bam. Goodbye. I'm liking the dynamics of that anyways, where I can uh, stop time of course. And... Get him. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. Yes, I just shot you in the face. Alright, taxi guy. Where am I headed? It's Nick, by the way. Okay, Nick. Jack. Okay, uh... There's a door Nick on the upper Jack. level leading to a sky bridge, but looks like you need to turn off security to get it open. Okay. How do I do that? On the map, there's a squiggly line that leads from the door to a big square, and that square has two squigglies leading to little circles. What the fuck does that mean? What am I doing here? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not the superhero. Find the door. Follow a squiggly line to a box, more squigglies, circles, do something. Security turns off and you're golden. He said Thanks, superhero. Nick. Anything else over here? Man, not a whole lot of stuff over here. Uh. Locked, like he said. Gotta follow the squiggly line. Squiggly line. What the hell's squiggly line? Hey, how we doing, boss? Uh, still searching for circles. Oh, uh, yeah. They're not like literally squares and circles. The square is some kind of security console. S squiggles are, are cables, I think. No, I'm following, following the cable. Cables. I'm following the cable. You couldn't have just said that to begin with? Thought I was clear enough? Here we go. Right? No? Alright. What the hell? 
What just happened? Like I reversed time? You always time? just took out Gatehouse Squad and you still don't have eyes on him? What do, what do they pay you for over there, huh? Charlie, oh, I want to kick that dude's ass. Hand. I am going to so here, please. punch Charlie? him in the face. Warehouse B4. Better hurry. Storehouse 1. You heard him. Move in. On our way. Oh, Charlie. I'm after him. He's on my hit list. The monitoring company email servers and found something interesting. Just as you thought, you might want to know that your golden boy has snippets attached to the email before. Beth, I'm starting to grow suspicious about what's going on here. I have a hunch you feel the same way. I've been allowed a lot of freedom to come and go in my position, but it comes at a cost of very low clearance. Most members of the team know something I don't, and they're eager not eager to share. Tomorrow's operation is more than a simple retrieval, retrieval mission. There's dates, times marked with details, fractured, 415 labeled. It's too much detail for a plan all mapped out how. Something big's coming. I can feel it. They've told us our directive is to protect the world from dangers that lie ahead. If that's so, then why do I get the feeling that something's coming our way and we're doing absolutely nothing to stop it? And if everybody else knows this, then why the hell is nobody acting on it? I can't sit back and watch if there's even a chance to put Emily in danger. I need to know more. Serene won't answer my messages. Hatch is a closed book. I'm hoping you're a more open one. Yeah, a little douchebag. Okay, security's down. Damn, that was quick. Yeah. Get out of here then. I really gotta climb up this stuff. Where is he? Time's kind of doing some weird stuff right now, too. I just noticed that uh, um, there's more uh, going on. Like, like, literally, time just stopped a few times, so I'm going to have to keep my eye on what I'm doing. Because I really don't know what I'm doing, guys. I don't. I'm just going around and stopping time and killing people. Okay. Back over there. Follow the cables. Oh. Let's get to Serene. So, am I in ground zero now? Because I think that's part of the thing right now. If I'm getting close to ground zero, this is where time broke. Anybody back there? No. Nick, I'm on the bridge. Oh, uh, map says you're heading towards a storage facility for, uh, Iron joist particles and harvesting equipment. Harvesting equipment. Joist particles. This whole operation is based on my brother's research. Your bro? You don't think he's 
working for. Well, he's dead. No. I don't, I don't know what to think, but Paul is up to something big. See if you can find out more. Yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, ask the cabbie. That's smart. Yeah, I guess some people are smarter than they look. Whoa, what's that? Sophia Amaral. President Monarch. Monarch's resident chronon scientist. Well, she must know a lot of the same stuff Will did. First fire pistol, don't need it. Dying. Let's try that again. That really sucked. Fucking crap. Okay, so we know this chick knows something. Sophia Amaral. Monarch's resident. I swear I'm gonna shoot you in the head, dude. What the heck? Where is this fuck? Man, that's some bull. Okay. New strategy. Urgh! Yes, we know. I know who she is. Sophia Amaral. Destroy the Cronian chain containers. Monarch's resident Cronon scientist. No there he is! She doesn't know a lot of the same stuff Will did. Spread out! Yeah, spread out. Yeah, good luck. Jesus. Some mornings. 
just maybe I should stick with Enter the Gungeon. Seems Sophia. to be doing better than this. Yeah, form up. All in the same spot, okay guys? Thank you. This is how you break controllers. Motherfucker. Okay. Sophia Emerald. Monarch's resident chronon scientist. Oh, get over there. Well, she must know a lot of the same stuff we'll get. In the harvesting Jeez. warehouse. It looks like there's no clear exit on the ground level. Head for the upper floors when you're ready. Strangle somebody with this level. No 
clear exit down here. May have to head upward. There's gotta be something I can use to get up there. stuff just to get over here for real okay getting closer I think now which way's the dry dock I get down I get down oh just fall down <laughs> what we got here let's see I got that briefcase brief we lifted from William, from William Joyce's, Joyce's car. car. Laid out the Laid contents, contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene, Serene wants the first look. look. Till then, hands off. hands off. I want that. I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene wants the first look. Till then, hands off. Okay. I think there's no power to the lock. Oh, yeah, start the car. So this thing okay. at the universe. It's like the trailer has power now. It is. The trailer. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. Yep. Which table? The will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Fracture. There wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Oh boy, here's Monarch Beth. Monarch got footage of some idiot accessing Facebook from a nearby security station. Please tell me said idiot isn't with you. <laughs> He's with me. Nick, I gotta go back for him. Don't. I'll pick him up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul at the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Oh, I will. Oh, thanks for the vote of sure. confidence. Hmm. Okay, what do we got here? Another email? Let's see. Dr. Amiro. We haven't talked too much, but I'm one of Serene's guys from the Reaper Squad working around all this time tech stuff. Or Cronium tech, as you call it, I guess. 
Got me real inspired to start writing a screenplay. There's a lot of science talk in here, so I wanted the scientist to check and make sure it makes sense. Would you mind taking a look? Here's half of it. Time knife. Office. Nick, Somebody you still there? Da -da. Uh. <sighs> Shit. Time to read all this. Words. Words. <laughs> Words. Okay. Mm, that's okay. I can go back and read it later if I need to. Uh, Alright. Ground zero. Oh, there's another computer. Nothing changes. We move forward. The university fallout was a setback. But we can use these complications to our advantage. Paul is focused on phase three of the plan. He's questioning if there's traitors in, with a monarch, but I am confident that he doesn't know where to look for them. I will make sure to shift the blame elsewhere. Ah, I knew it was Martin Hatch. Knew he was a bum. The gala went ahead tonight. That's when we make our next move. You take care of preparations and make sure Dr. Kim's lab is ready for detonation. I will make sure that Paul is sufficiently distracted as there's not question to question our involvement. The university operations gather far too much attention. How does this impact our agenda moving forward? I'm concerned Paul Serene is paying closer attention to our actions. Yeah, see? Martin Hatch, the traitor. It's a boat. It's locked. It's got to be another way to get through here. A locked? recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. Yeah. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was Ground clear that the workshop Zero. was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there. And it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering.
Run, 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 run. signs of an incoming stutter. Safeguard, I want Joyce contained before that stutter hits. Zero. Oh, what was that? Oh, shit. Paul developed technology for his men to move from stutters. He knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh, shit. He, he never tried to stop it.
Oh, come on! <sighs> Alright, guys, this is Gerald from MXG Games. I'm gonna take a break from this game because I keep dying. Um, it looks like we've encountered some guys that can actually move through the time fractures with us with these special backpacks that look like quantum packs or, or proton packs. So, that's not a good thing. And, uh, we've made it through, finally, after dying a few times. Sorry with the deaths, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. So, that would be episode four of Quantum Break. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like that, then leave, leave some comments down below and subscribe to our channel. Um, this is Gerald MXG Games, bringing you the finest games. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Anyways, um... Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day.